This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to be working on a quick project to review both text wraps and anchored objects. If you'd like to follow along, go to File, Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 09. 04 using text and objects in a layout and just click open. We're going to start by adding some text wraps. Why don't we select this image in the first column? Just use a jump object text wrap and you can see now the text is actually jumping that object. We're also going to add a text wrap to this object in the third column, why don't we use a wrap around bounding box? And the offsets look good. Why don't we leave them as they are? And now we're going to anchor some of the objects into the flow of the text. Why don't we start with the image to the left of the first column? Just click on that image and you'll see the little blue box to the upper right of that object. We're just going to click and drag it. How about to the end of this paragraph? Let me select that now. It says it's anchored, but I'm not seeing my text thread to let me know where it's anchored to. Let me go under my view menu to extras show text threads. And now I can see it is anchored to the end of that first paragraph. I'd like to anchor this object to line up with this picture. So why don't I get it lined up using my smart guides and let me now click on that blue square to the upper right of the object and just drag it to an insert point at the end of the paragraph before. Let me do the same thing with this object. I'm going to click on the blue square and drag it to the end of the paragraph before and you can see it is anchored right there. The last object to the right of my fourth column, I'm going to drag that to the end of the subhead that's next to it. And so now everything is anchored. If I were to add extra text, the pictures are going to move with that text. Let me hit delete. This lesson of anchoring objects would have easily taken twice as long if I had used the traditional cut and paste method of anchoring objects. In the next lesson, we're going to begin to discuss long document features.